hello and welcome back this is crystal and i'm glad you're here in today's video i will create this beautiful card with masking technique and along the way i will share some tips so let's get started to create my mask i'm using this fine glitter sheet i bought this sheet a long time ago it's like an a4 of washi tape and if you watch my channel by now you will know that i always love to use supplies that i already have in my stash as um, craft supplies can be very expensive anyway off camera i die cut a circle in the top center of my panel i removed the release paper at the back and stick it onto my card uh, panel I taped down my panel on my work surface and for the ink blending, in today's video I'm using Distress Oxide ink. If you don't have this ink, you can also use pigment ink but personally I uh, found that the Distress Oxide blend like butter with less effort. And I will use uh, ripe persimmon, um, mustard seed and ground espresso. I'm using my ink blending tool, but if you don't have this tool, you can also use cotton ball, which will give you the same result. When I ink blend with three colors, I like to apply the two colors at the top and the bottom first, then apply the third color in the middle. The secret of ink blending is to go back and forth until all the color is blend um, and there's no harsh line. To create the scene, I'm using two uh, different uh, stamp set: the Safari Summer and the Gowai stamp set. And this is another way to use your stamp creatively by combining different uh, stamp set uh, to create a scene. I'm using my stamping tool to line up my two images. And I'm applying my anti-static powder as I want to heat on both my image. And I'm using the Safine uh, Onyx Black Ink to stamp uh, the image. And now I'm adding some clear fine embossing powder on the stamp image. Then I will flip the card and tap the excess of powder. And I will go ahead and heat set the image. After heat setting my image, I repeat the same step and stamp the other image. And one thing about this mask is that it resists the heat. I was a little bit worried but the mask worked alright. And I can use this mask over and over again for another project. I just put the release paper back and keep it in a pocket folder. Now I will go ahead and peel off the mask and I was really happy uh, with this mask. I did not know, um, I was just trying, didn't know that it will really work, but in the end, it worked all right. To stamp my sentiment, I first uh, put a piece of acetate on my panel, lined up my sentiment and stamp um, my sentiment on the acetate, just to make sure to get the sentiment straight. And now that I'm happy with the alignment of my sentiment, I can remove the acetate and stamp on my panel. 
to add a little more interest to the card, I decided to dry on both the circle stitch die that I used to die cut the mask. For this, I'm using my silicone mat. First, I set up my platform on the first tab, put down my cutting plate, then the silicone, um, then put down my panel and tape the die with some low tack tape, then put down my last cutting plate. And I added a uh, copy paper uh, on my panel just so to avoid any mark from my cutting plate to transfer onto my panel. You can skip uh, these steps if you want, but these small details add a lot to a simple card. And to finish my card, I added uh, my panel to some black cardstock, leaving an even border around my panel. Then used some liquid glue to glue my panel to my card base. I did not add any sequence on my card. I, because I wanted to keep the card pretty simple. So uh, this was my card for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about this card. And if you decide to make your own version of this card, I would love to see them on my Facebook group which I will link down below. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more crafty projects. Thank you for stopping by. See you soon. Bye.